The key to developing a great relationship between your cat and your kids is to establish some ground rules and avoid rushing the process. When you first bring your cat home, make sure you designate a quiet room just for him. Set up the room with food and water, bedding, toys, a scratching post, and a litter box. Then put a piece of each family member's clothing in the room to familiarize your cat with their scent. Finally, bring your cat into the quiet room in his carrier, then open it and leave. This will allow your cat to explore his new surroundings at his own pace. While he's getting comfortable with his room, you should take a moment to talk with your kids about how to treat your new family member. It's very important children understand your cat isn't a toy and in fact is very delicate. Make it clear that there can be no tail pulling, hitting, teasing, yelling, or any behavior that could frighten or hurt your new cat. It's also very important to recognize the signs that your cat's getting upset and wants to be left alone. Some of these signs include swatting, crying, hissing, growling, tail twitching, ears pressed flat against their head, hiding, or trying to get away. Because a change in environment can be stressful for cats, it's best to wait until your cat's comfortable in his quiet room before introducing him to your kids. This could take a few hours or even a few days. You'll know he's ready when you enter the room and he seeks interaction with you. When you make the introduction, be sure your other pets are not in the room and remind your children not to run up to the cat or corner him. Have one child at a time enter the room and sit in the middle of the floor. Don't force your cat to approach your kids. Instead, let your cat set the pace. Cats, and especially kittens, are naturally curious and will likely want to meet your children. It's best that you handle the cat first and take a few minutes to demonstrate the right way to pet your cat. So encourage your kids to pet their new friend for just a few minutes at a time. Your cat will enjoy these short sessions and look forward to seeing your kids again. So start out with gentle petting and play with wand type toys before allowing your kids to handle your cat. Once your cat's comfortable in their presence, you can show them how to safely pick up the cat. After they've all had a chance to meet, your cat can begin playing with your kids in a group while you supervise. Try not to overwhelm them with too much attention. And remember to always give them plenty of time alone in his quiet room. For the first few weeks, you should supervise your children's interactions to make sure they're playing appropriately. Cats are very delicate and kids need to play gently. Cats, and especially kittens, may scratch or nip during play. So if your children are young, consider waiting until they're older before you allow them to play with your cat unsupervised.